Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to download and install Photo Director 365 from Cyberlink. First, go to the Cyberlink website, check the link in the description section, go to the Downloads menu at the top, you'll be redirected to this page, click on Download Cyberlink Application Manager, and on this page, click the Download Now button, you'll see this download prompt, click on Save File, and then go to your browser's download section. I'm using Firefox here. And then click on the downloaded file. You'll see this application manager download prompt. Click yes. This will load the application manager. Click sign in. At this prompt, click on get new account. Now I'm assuming that you are a new user. On this page, enter your name, email address, and choose a password. Confirm that you are not a bot, and finally click on Agree and become a member. You'll receive an email message with a link to verify your account. This is what the email message will look like. Click the Activate button. You'll get a confirmation, and you can then click on this link to go to the Members area. Use the login credentials and sign in. And this is your online account. Now go back to the application manager, enter your email address and password, and click sign in. You'll see this prompt to participate in the Cyberlink improvement program. Make a selection, and this is the application manager where you can manage all the apps. Let me go full screen. Now, if you purchase the license, click on your name at the top. From this drop down menu, choose Redeem. Enter your code into this box and click Redeem. You'll get a confirmation. So let me close this box. Next, here you'll see the Photo Director app. Click the Install button. You'll see this download prompt. Click Yes. Read the license agreement and click Accept. It will start downloading the app. It may take a few minutes. And then it will start installing the app. And you can then open the app. You can check my Photo Director tutorials to learn how to use it. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.